200 people here in our state, as we said, have self quarantine since February. That number is only expected to grow. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live at the state lab in Rocky Hill, where testing continues. Matthew. Well, Aaron and Mark, there's new information on the tests themselves. Earlier today, Vice President Mike Pence says that there's not enough to meet the demand. As the fears over coronavirus spread across the nation, Governor Lamont's office announcing today 200 locals referred to the Department of Health by their doctors have self-quarantined because of coronavirus fears. I think we were anticipating this. Janelle Chisera, the dean of Quinnipiac's School of Health Sciences, says there's no need to be shocked. With a virus that's spreading this quickly, that's to be expected. It was just a matter of time, and that's fine. Um, it's where we are, and now we know how to protect ourselves. Of those 200, the governor's office says only eight in our state have actually been tested for the coronavirus, and that could have been because of the strict criteria that potential patients needed to meet, which in part included travel to certain foreign countries countries. Today, the CDC changed the criteria and put it in the hands of doctors to use their own judgment if a patient is showing symptoms. Since the symptoms closely resemble the flu, expect this lab in Rocky Hill to do more testing. But now there's concern there are not enough tests to go around. We don't have enough tests today uh, to meet uh, what we anticipate will be the demand going forward. Eyewitness News has learned each test kit can test up to 600 people and the state is currently asking for more. As the virus surrounds Connecticut, locals in Hamden got the most up-to-date information straight from a team of Quinnipiac professors, many wanting to know what's ahead. We probably will see more cases of this. Um, we're also going to be testing a little bit more, so naturally you're going to see more cases of it. I don't think we need to be in hysteria yet, in Connecticut at least. I mean, it's surrounding us, but I don't think we need to have hysteria yet. Now, at that forum, they gave out cards of the top five ways to prevent the coronavirus. Now, at the very top of that list is washing your hands thoroughly. They say make sure you really get in between those fingers, on top of the fingers, and underneath the fingernails. That's the latest live here in Rocky Hill. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.